What is up Hoopers? Today we're taking a look at one of my favorite players, Walter Love. I found out about him a few years ago through his work with Devin Williams. Now, Walter is only 5'9", but he still manages to be really effective on the floor. He's a knockdown shooter and a crafty finisher around the rim. But his greatest strength is his basketball IQ. He controls the offense, never gets sped up, and he handles pressure and double teams like they're not even there. And of course he knows every single pass in the book. So pick some things he does well here and apply them to your own game. Let's begin by taking a look at his three ball. Walter has a textbook looking jumper, shoots the same way every time and is always on balance. Has he pull up on balance. Hard jab on balance. Snatch back with a hand in his face on balance. Running backwards, two hands in his face on balance. Deep contested step back three to tie the game in crunch time on balance. Even his threes of one leg are with perfect form. Shooting every shot with the same form and balance will make your jumper more consistent. Now for most players your threes are going to be mainly catch and shoot. Being shot ready is key. While the pass is in the air you want your hands ready, feet ready and most importantly your mindset ready to knock down the shot. The footwork can be a hop. The hop is the quickest way to get your shot off. Both feet in the air and land at the same time. Use it when your defender is close and you have to get it off quickly. The footwork can also be a one-two step. It is a split second slower than the hop, but it does give more time to focus and aim better. Master both footworks and become an automatic spot up shooter. Sometimes you gotta move though. Here he slides right to the open space, shot fake, fly by and splash. Simple off ball movement to get to open spots. If the defense goes under the ball screen, you shoot it every time. Same thing with handoffs, gotta make him pay for cheating under. Same thing with down screens, hide behind the screen and knock it down. Now let's take a look at Walter's biggest strength, his passing. His dump off passes are really good. He has that natural feel for when the bigs help. To immediately dump it down low. His two-handed shovel pass is great, passing it under the hands of the helper. The same pass can also be made with one hand, just be careful to pass it early so it won't be deflected. Jumping and passing overhead is an option, but overdoing it might lead to turnovers. On to his pick and roll passing. His pocket passes are well timed, low and accurate. He always finds that passing angle. Here he moves the ball from left to right to get an angle for his bounce pass. Here the defender is close so he can throw it over the top before a deflection. Here he is farther off so the over the top pass isn't there. Gotta find another passing angle. Roll man with the size advantage and no help, that's a lob pass. Hook pass to the pop. And a hook pass to the roll. Being able to hit the roll man will open up shooters. Now transition is the easiest way to get assists. Walter gets a view every game. If you run the floor, he will find you. The key here is getting your head up early, preferably before catching the rebound or outlet. If the back defender doesn't see the ball, then throw it right over his head. The absolute longest passes should be made with one hand, throw it like a football. And Walter turns every 2-on-1 situation into a layup. 
pass it when your teammates open. But when they start respecting the pass, you'll finish it yourself. Walter is elite at finding cutters. He never misses a teammate under the basket. You only have a split second to make these passes, and you gotta thread the needle. Walter has that no look pass in his back. Being able to fake out defenders with your eyes will open up so many passes. The interesting thing about his finishing is that he always uses his right hand, even on the left side. Now I'm not saying never to finish with your weak hand, I am saying you should find out what works best for you. The last thing we're gonna take a look at is his basketball IQ. Signaling to your teammates where you want them to go. You can wave players through to the other side. You can ask your bigs for a step up ball screen. And mixing both together flows into an empty side pick and roll. Hand signals like this can get your defender relaxing and sagging off, then you shoot it in his face. Or sometimes it may cause him to press up, then you blow by him with a simple move. Smart players always know the clock situation. You always want your team taking the last shot in every quarter. Dribble out the game clock, then shoot it or create for a teammate. Now, Walter might be the best player I've ever seen at handling double teams. He spots them early doesn't dribble into the trap and stays away from the sidelines. After that, it's only a matter of finding the killer pass. If you're quick though, you can sometimes beat both defenders off the dribble. Improving your basketball IQ isn't complex. Just watch a lot of smart players and do the same things they do. Things like looking behind them to avoid the chase down. Things like turning away in transition to get the help defense running back to their own man. And things like the fake handoff. I hope you learned something new to add to your game. Thanks for watching.